Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. I really haven't talked about a pair of non-performance sneakers in a while, but sharing a good one with you today. One that I think is really one of the best non-collab Nike Dunks in a while. This is the Dunk Low Sesubu. The release date does depend on your location. Here in Canada, most retailers dropped these on uh, April 11th, just a few days ago. Uh, this is a regular Dunk, by the way, not an SB. Even though the Dunk hype is pretty much over, when it comes to a pair of Dunks, I guess people are still more curious about the resale price, not the retail price. And I just love the fact that resale dipped down significantly on these with the recent batch of release. In USD, these were sitting at like four or 500 bucks a few months ago and uh, now they've fallen down to just slightly above retail. Honestly, I've completely stopped buying shoes at resale prices, even if I really like them. Uh, an L's an L, but at like 20 to 30 bucks, more than the $120 retail price, I think it's doable. So the theme of this sneaker is inspired by the annual Sesubun Festival in Japan. I think that might be how it's pronounced, which I've never heard of before this. I had to look it up and it's to celebrate the first day of the spring season where people throw beans at each other to get rid of evil spirits attracted to the household throughout the year. Out with the demons and in with fortune as they say it. Yeah, it has good meanings to it. A subtle but not too plain color combination and some nice details on the sneaker itself. So let's now take a closer look. No special box, they just come in a regular orange Nike box. And the official color names are white onyx, core purple, and khaki. A purple to me is a key touch on the shoe. The demon embroidered on the back end of the lateral side is in purple, and so is the Nike swoosh, plus a little bit of the lighting. Top of the heel has a brown color, and also the overlay up front. The toe box and midfoot panel have a light brown or tan color, and it's done in like a cracked leather. White midsole, and basically a gum bottom. Another detail is on the insoles, with artworks from the Edo period of uh, Kentaro, the demon slaying warrior. Again, very consistent with the theme. And they also come with an extra pair of purple laces in addition to the white ones. Both laces have a gold lace tip. I personally much prefer the white laces. And just like most other Nike Dunks, they fit true to size. Here's a quick look at the Nike Dunk Low Sesubun on feet. Let me know how you feel about this pair of dunks in the comments. To me, this shoe is so good that I finally bought something other than New Balance and Saucony's for casual wear. Pretty much since the beginning of the year. Very happy about this pickup, and if you're interested, I think it's best to cop now rather than later, because uh, I don't see prices going down lower than it is right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.